Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. It's your host of the Daily Dose, Dean L here. And today I've got the Hawker Hurricane Mark 1 for you guys. This is a British fighter, rank 1 with a battle rating of 2.3. We've got 8 7mm Browning machine guns. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wow, that's a small bullet that doesn't do anything to fighters. In some, sta in some cases, no, but with 8 of them, it shreds planes. Let me just tell you. Now you're going to notice um, a pretty bad max speed of 326 miles an hour. That's nothing to write home about. Um, sometimes I did struggle with that in this gameplay. But right below that, you're going to notice 15 seconds of turn time. And that completely makes up for the lack of speed that this plane pulls. I'm going to be fighting some BF-109s, and they're going to be trying to take on the Hurricane. And in most cases, I'm going to be able to turn right around on them and tell them that that's not possible. So let's get to it. Alrighty, here we are. I've got this thing climbing a little bit, and I'm uh, about ready to make my dive on some enemies. But while I'm up here, I figured I'd talk about the history, because I know you guys like the history, too. The uh, Hawker Hurricane was actually designed, and it had its first flight in November of 1935. And it was introduced in December of 1937. And around 14,500 of these things were built. That's quite a bit. That's, that's a pretty large number. And, um... Even though, during the Battle of Britain, everybody thinks that the Spitfire was the star of the show, well, in a lot of cases it was, but the Hawker Hurricane, during the Battle of Britain, actually sustained 60% of the losses to the Luftwaffe. So, the Hawker Hurricane did 60% of the aircraft, like, it, it took out 60% of the Luftwaffe, whereas the Spitfire only took out 40 So, that thing, you know, that's to be expected, that's where it is. I didn't know that. Uh, I actually did not know that fact. We're going to engage this HE-112 here, though. These guys are low on energy, and I'm high on energy, so we're going to make... Nope, we're going to pull up. That was a bad angle there. Pull up. Loop it around. Find this guy again. It look, he's climbing right up for me with no energy, and he's climbing right up to me. Quick burst. Look at that. I'm telling you, look at that. Those 7 millimeters... They do damage if you hit them in the right spot and if you hit them enough. That other HE-112 just saw his buddy get killed, so he's he's on his way. Alrighty. Now, normally, I don't like committing to head-ons, but we're going to try it. He scored a critical there. He's on fire. Let's bring it around. Let's finish him off there. Okay, yep. Yeah. Oh, well. Never mind. See, now that is a kill steal. You say, D-Nail, you kill steal all the time? No, no, that was a kill steal. I had that guy on fire, he was gonna die any second, and that guy came out of nowhere and just took the kill. That, ladies and gentlemen, was a kill steal. That's what that is. Got a CR-42 coming in on me. I don't think he's gonna commit to a head-on. I think he knows what would happen if he did that. Okay, he's just gonna kinda undershoot me there. But, 15 second turn time, I'm gonna whip right around on him. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at that. I knocked the pilot out pretty quick on that one. And that HE-100 over there is about to be got, so... Alrighty, here we are fighting some of the uh, Japanese aircraft real quick. And uh, I'm intercepting this J-1N1. Gonna see if I can turn with this guy. And a couple... He's pulling under there. But I can keep right up with him. There's no problem here. Oop, got a critical on that engine. He's on fire now. Lost some more. There he went. Boom. All right, let's pull up. What do we got over here? Looks like some of our teammates are in trouble over there. Uh, key 61 looks like coming from behind. I'm going to go after this key 61. I'm telling you, with the... With the turn power, I can keep up with these planes, but the problem is they have a better engine than mine, I feel like. So I can turn with them, yes, but can I catch them in a lot of instances? No. And in this instance, you can see my rudder. Look, my rudder's not even working. So past like 250 miles an hour, the rudder on this plane is not going to work. Uh, this is not a boom and zoom aircraft, might I add. Uh, this thing's not meant for booming and zooming, just saying. It's meant for turn fighting mostly. Stop. Okay, we just scored a critical on the Key 61 now. And he's walking it off like a champ, so I'm going to put some more bullets in him. He's not even moving. Just put a few more, a few more, a few more. A couple here, a couple there. Maybe he'll die. Yep, okay. He, he finally died. Let's 
probably my fault. I was missing a lot. But, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, the rudder, I've passed 250 miles an hour, the rudder locks up pretty good. So don't try and boom and zoom with this craft. Alrighty, it looks like there's just a big fur ball right down here below us. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dive into it. Now, I know before I just said this is not a boom and zoom. But I'm not trying to use it as a boom and zoom. I try and extinguish some of my energy by leveling out and uh, whatnot to try and slow it down. I don't want to try and get this thing past 350. Past 350, it's completely useless. So we're just going to siphon the energy a little bit. We're going to dive. We're going to siphon. We're going to pick our target here. I'm going to pick that. Nope, still a bad angle. Got a couple hits, but still, that was still a bad angle. So we're going to pull up, siphon some more of that energy. We're going to loop her back around right here. I think I'm going to nail that C200. I think that's who I'm going for. Yeah, C200's going. He's pulling straight up. No energy. Boom. Okay, pilot's knocked out on him. Okay, I missed the Re-2000 there. Let's pull around for the Re-2000. Okay, kill assist on him. He's dead. That leaves the C202. Let's try and get this 202 then. He's pulling straight at me. Scored a couple hits. It's puller inverted. Let's do. Let's get this. Let's get this guy. Flip it around on him. He's not trying to run either. He's trying to turn fight with us. So let's see what happens. I don't think people know that the hurricane is decent at turning. So it, it's kind of a win-win. All right. He's pulling back in. Missed that bad angle there. Bad angle. Oh, Jesus. BF-109 and HE-112 dive in. I'm glad they didn't try and shoot at me. They probably would have iced me. All right. Oh, it was a good one. Critical. Oh, yeah. He's on fire now. Okay. Yep. He lost too much energy to, to turn around. Yeah, he's done. He's done. I'm going to... Yeah, he's definitely going down. I'm really hoping that guy doesn't steal my kill. All right. HE-112 looks like he's pretty much lost most of his energy. So let's, let's go for this guy. Yep. He's banking around. He's low on energy, too. Oh, Jesus. Something just made a pass on me. I don't know what it was. No time to look. Kill the HE-112. Oh, man, he's on fire. That was a lucky shot. That was that was a pure luck. I was just kind of hip-firing on that one. I wasn't aiming. Oh, he slammed into the ground. Well, that's three. Three kills. Let's check around. Is there anybody? There's a doe. That's what shot me. Let's shoot at you, then. See how you like it. Okay. No, nothing. And the doe's dead. Okay, well, that was impressive. I was low on energy that entire time. See, now I was just lucky that no other fighter chose to try and kill me when they dove in. Like the BF-109 and the HE-112, they came in at 300 plus miles an hour. I'm, I'm lucky they didn't choose to shoot at me because they probably would have killed me. We got a uh, 109 and a Focke-Wolf 200 over here. I'm going to go see what I can do to that Focke-Wolf 200. Maybe kill some AA while I'm at it. Yeah, I mean, I really can't complain. You know, the, the guns on this thing, a few 7 millimeters here and there, they don't do much damage. You guys know that. You, you've used 7 millimeters before. But if you ever fly out the Hawker Hurricane Mark I or the Mark II, there is a Mark II. The second model has 12 7 millimeters, but a severely less efficient turn time because of all the ammunition it's carrying. Um, I chose this one instead of that one because of the, the sheer power and the turn time in this thing. But those seven millimeters, if you hit the if you hit the target in the right spot, there's no doubt and there's there's no doubt that it won't go down. I mean it it'll set fire to just about anything. Now it looks like I don't know where that 109 went, he just kinda disappeared, so I'm kinda antsy. I don't like not knowing where he's at. Let's go after this Falk Wolf two hundred. It looks like he's trying to siphon his energy and land at his base, so let's see if we can cut him off before he gets to base. Oh yeah, he's he's going pretty slow, but he's also close to base. So this is going to be risky because I'm getting in close to his base, but I'm going to take a few shots here. Just see if I can get him. Just see. Got some hits. And he's hitting me. Got some hits. Oh, there's a fire. Let's pull off. Pull away. We're way too close to the base. And we got him. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Good, good, good. Good. That brings it to four. Okay, so that was four in a match. Not bad. Uh, I'm going to run back to base, actually. 
because I got some damage on me and I'm actually probably pretty low on rounds. Um, and I don't know what that BF-109 is going to do. Either way, the BF-109 has got the advantage. He's got some energy on him and I don't. Kill a few ground targets here over here. One, one, two, two, three, three. Okay. Well, not a bad match. It's a nice, it's a resilient little plane, you guys. If you take it out, you're going to love it. it. It's a good dogfighter. Um, like I said, no no real boom and zoom. Do not try to boom and zoom. It's more of a dogfighter. And this match proved that. All right, now I'm right now in a dive. Um, just trying to help out my teammate down here. He's struggling. He's getting shot at a little bit. So I'm going to try and relieve him of the, uh, of the tailor he's got. I think this is that new uh, Italian fighter with that latest update. I've still got some pretty good energy, so we're gonna keep trying to make passes on this guy. If he dives and hits the deck, though, he's gonna he's gonna exceed me. Got a little bit of a hit there. All right, let's loop it around. Let's dive on him again. We still got plenty of energy to spare. Got another hit. Yep, got another hit. Some well placed sevens will take a whole plane down, but most most of the time you're gonna get you're just gonna shoot them and they're just gonna bounce. All right, well we just pulled some heavy G's there turning with that guy, but we did turn with him. Probably my fault because I turned to going like 250. Ah, oh, damn it! Shot down the guy. Shot down the P40. Oh well, we're gonna get him anyway because we're on him. Scored a good hit there. All right, this is it right here. Oh, nope. First. All right, well, there went a critical. Fire another one. There it is. Okay, yep, see? Pilot sniped him. Those seven millimeters, man. I'm telling you. Okay, what's up, what's up? All right, we got 109s high, so I don't really want to climb because climbing in a hurricane means you have severe lack of energy. I'm just going to try and go back to base and rearm and see where we're at when I take back off. Um, hopefully, they'll be dead. Alright, well as I'm headed back to base, I pick up a little uh, BF-109, uh, diving from a high altitude. He's going quite a bit faster than me, so I'm going to turn around, initiate a head-on, dodge the shots, and start the turn fight. I'm going to pull around on this sucker. Oh yeah, he's hit the deck, and it looks like he's accepting the turn fight, so he's going to try it. Look at that. Look at that. I've almost got my guns on target with this guy. I think he knows now. Yep, he definitely knows. He's trying to hoof it. He's trying to get away. Let's pop a couple shots. See if we can get some hits. And there's one. Oh, see, yeah, he's he's closing the gap. He's not... He's... See, the engine power is so... There's such a contrast between the engine power of the 109s and the Hurricane. All right, got a buddy coming in to distract him. I'm gonna fire a couple more. Fire more shot. Oh man, pilot sniped. Just destroyed that guy. Holy cow, that was a seat well placed sevens. What was I saying? Well placed sevens, man. They will just destroy it. And then BF109 F2. I kept right up with him, turn for turn. Alrighty, that was cool. Alrighty, you guys, we got this thing back in the hangar now. I gotta say, this thing constantly impressed me throughout this gameplay. I was hitting fuel tanks that I wasn't quite aiming for and pilots that I wasn't quite aiming for. Like I said, you get those 7mm on target at a close range, it's lethal, let me tell you. And uh, you can't quite count on the engine power of this plane to win battles. You're going to have to count on outturning your enemy to win battles because if you realize that you're losing and you're going to try and get away, they're going to catch you because this thing does not turn energy into speed very well. And like I said, don't, don't take it past 350 because you're going to lose control about the entire plane. And at 400, it's just going to rip apart. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.